What's up, people? How you doing? This is Coach DC of The Intense Fit Way. Let's talk about pronouns today. Let's talk about pronouns. Because I wrote a little message on my Facebook today that I don't use pro pronouns and I don't really care for them. And the reason being is that... <clears throat> They're a part of what I call strongholds and principalities. Strongholds and principalities. Strongholds are simply beliefs. Principalities are simply identities. I don't care what you think they mean. Go look the etymology of the word up and you will see. Strongholds mean beliefs. And, I, and principalities are our identities. How do we identify ourselves? Now, most me people identify me as a black man. I identify myself as a man that happens to be black. <clears throat> because there was no choice in the color, the family, the environment, etc., etc., until I got older anyway. So I identify me as a man that happens to be black but we'll get in the weeds with the whole, I'm a black man and all these other things. But with that goes certain beliefs and identities. The beliefs that, okay, I'm a black man. That means I should be with the black culture. That means my wife should be black. My family should be black. I should take care of my family. Um, all these other beliefs or strongholds that come along with that identity. But, if I am first a man who happens to be black, then it's completely different. Do I identify with a culture or do I identify with being a man, period? Do I uphold the strongholds or beliefs of or the thoughts of a man? Do I identify as a man in the way I walk, I talk, I speak, I act, etc.? That whole color thing, eh, that's one of those strongholds and principalities I have to let go of, you know. I'm black, I should be with black people, and I should date black, I should marry black, all these other pro-black things that really make no sense when you see life from a broader perspective. But... I started with pronouns. And the reason why I started with pronouns is because all words have meaning and purpose. I've done this video too. All words have meaning and purpose. And whenever we look at words, whenever I look at words, I go back to the etymology or the beginning of the word, how it started out to use it that way. For example, in this age, nice means kind, gentle. When a nice, the word which was originally made, the etymology of the word means foolish. Go look it up. I think it's the 14th century. Nice meant foolish. And through the years, they've brought nice down to kindness and gentle. So I go back and look at the words because the words have the meaning and the purpose in them. The words have the meaning and the purpose in them. That's why it's very important to understand how and why you're using the words. So going back to pronouns and again, strongholds and identities, I see no strongholds and identities that really identify me or that I identify with besides being a man that happens to be black. All the other things that go along with it, the culture and all of the other things uh, I've looked beyond or I've studied enough to say that I don't want this or I want that or this works and this doesn't work, etc. So I did the same thing with pronouns. Does this work? Does this help? Does this make our society a better, more ooh, harmonious place? No. Basically what it does is I'm calling you what you identify as. I am going into your beliefs and identities and what you believe you are. I mean, some freaking kids believe they're freaking cats now and, and the parents put up with that, that nonsense or believe they're dogs now. And 
parents put up with that nonsense. Or, or what, some kids come out and the parents won't even say if they're a boy or a girl. That's more nonsense and confusion as far as I'm concerned. Why is it nonsense and confusion? For you to think that they have the emotional capability what, from the age of birth to decide who and what they are means you really haven't looked at the animal kingdom and understand that you are nothing but a great ape yourself. That's all we are, are the great apes. The apes never die. We're just another part of the apes. So this is the reason why I don't use pronouns. I don't find them useful, truthful, or helpful in life, period. I don't find them useful, truthful, or helpful in life, period. So I do not use the words. Now, if somebody wants me to use their pronouns, I'll use their name. That pronoun thing, I leave to, that's your problem. That's not mine. That is yours. And someone said on here, says, said today, says, I don't want to recognize people's pronouns, that I'm being disrespectful and I'm not being kind. And I want to say to that, I'm not trying to be either. I'm not trying to be kind or respectful. What I'm trying to do is show you how I look at life, how I approach life, and I'm going with it that way. How you've decided to do it is your problem. That's not mine. So understand that. I am not here to be you. Not even a little bit. I'm not here to be like you. I'm not here to move like you. I'm not here to talk like you. I'm not here to speak like you. I'm only here to be me. Now, in our connections, I may get some information from you, some help from you, etc. Yes. But I'm never here to be you. I'm never here to be your thoughts. I'm never here to be or do it your way. I am here to observe, find out what works in life for me, my family, and go that way. The rest of the stuff, basically, you can kick rocks. This is Coach. Peace.